Ministers Land Use Agreement that we're talking about that's on the table for Jungar people to um, approve does nothing for us but separates, from our, separates us from our land and our culture and our laws, our traditions, our values and our beliefs. This Indigenous Land Use Agreement asks us to extinguish that title ourselves. This Indigenous Land Use Agreement is in fact illegal and discriminatory. The things that come with this Indigenous Land Use Agreement tells us that we have to separate ourselves from the rest of the West Australian Aboriginal community. This Indigenous Land Use Agreement tells us that in fact we will be the only Indigenous inhabitants of this country recognised as um, true owners and custodians of the land. The rest of the Indigenous community in Western Australia will not have that privilege after this deal is done. The Indigenous Land Use Agreement that we're talking about today subjects us to a lifetime of poverty. The people in our community who will see benefit from this Indigenous Land Use Agreement are those who are already rich. A lot of people have made money from this Indigenous Land Use Agreement, particularly the state government, will benefit immensely. We know that the Indigenous Land Use Agreement that we are going to come up against will separate us from mining companies and the government and we will be left on our own. Everything that we achieve right up until this document will be signed will be lost. This Indigenous Land Use Agreement does not grant us everything that we require as a nation of people to live proudly and more proudly on our lands. We cannot but be angered, disappointed, dismayed, frustrated about what is about to happen. We don't know if this Indigenous Land Use Agreement will succeed, but I know that we have a lot of corrupt people working towards this particular ending. We have to make sure that those people at the end of the day will be accountable, not only to us, but to the rest of the states, na nations in the WA, Aboriginal people throughout WA. We understand and we know that this Indigenous Land Use Agreement has created chaos in Western Australia. It has removed people from Aboriginal communities. It has extinguished our ownership and our rights over, over sacred sites. Every sacred site that we know of that is special to us does not exist under this policy. I know that today the word will spread from here. We will be able to tell our people what we heard today and we will be able to go away and say, let's look at the facts. Let's do our own research. Let's make our own conclusions about what we know. Let's tell our children that they might not have what we might have in years to come. We are up against a land council that works closely with the Barnett government to extinguish our native title rights and our sovereignty of this country. We want the government to acknowledge and respect our views as a minority being um, stood over by a minority. My decision and looking through that, I sat up for five nights and went from the front cover to the back cover and I believe that the deal is done behind these closed doors here. And I, I just want you to know that, um, yeah, we have a big fight but less violent. Eh? So young, she was to tell us stories. Those stories are embedded into our spirit. That's why we can be able to stand up and be strong and talk about what we've got to fight against today. And it's not only just today that we are, we are here, because we'll be here tomorrow too. And fighting for tomorrow's right. Not for just us, but for our generations to come after us, our descendants. The great-grandchildren, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and our children's children's children. That's who we fight for. That's what our grand our grand grand ancestors fought for. For when they knew that this day would come, they knew that it would happen today because of the atrocities through this through this country, through this land. Woman. The Bibbulmun can look as far as the eye can see, and I see it as our mother. Our mother is Bujari, which
which is short for the budja. That means she is pregnant for us and nurturing us all the time throughout this land because the Nunga, the male, the Yorga, the female who have been through the initiation process of law, L-O-R-E, are there to look after the land. But we are being denied our own spiritual entity of our cultural right to look after. And a better recognition who I am at the end of the day. I don't live in no office, I don't work in no office, my office is, out, is on Hilton Island in the bush. I'm not an educated man, but at the end of the day, if anybody want to take my country and then talk about my, my land, I'll fight for it, whatever, whatever, whatever it takes. Um, we're the children, we're the little babies, and she's the mother of us. We can't sell her, we wouldn't go sell our, our living flesh, mums, mums would we, and our sisters and our brothers. Well, that's what's going on. They're selling our spirituality and all our beliefs in our land, our storylines, all, all, all the significant places um, throughout WA, Sterling Ranges, Dog Rock, um, and everything else that is significant up to the, to the peoples of the regions. Um, that's our storyline. If we, if we sell our land, um, the mining companies will come in. And you know what they will do to our storylines? They will rip them up, looking for their minerals, for their greed, for the Queen's greed. Um, First Land and Sea Council, you have failed us. These are not our representative body. You, are, you don't represent our people. You represent yourselves and your greed. A um, little bit of a victory we had today. Um, a group of Yungar people, I can't name them, um, signed a document today stating that they were bribed by the Southwest Aboriginal Land and Sea Council to the tune of $250,000. Other individuals in our community have been offered money but still are yet to get it. We've got dying old people in Narragan who were promised $10,000 each, but they'll be dead before the money comes. So yeah, the Land Council is trying to buy us. Be aware, if you know of this, you sign a piece of paper and give it to one of us and we'll deal with it. Come on, man. You need to step up and we not go through swamps about it.